Emily, and this is Michael. We are with the Austin Heights Baptist Church Outreach Committee. And we are going to be doing something really cool that we've been super excited about. This is our first ever Austin Heights Baptist Church cooking show. We're gonna actually get to see a lot of really cool foods from a lot of different celebrity chefs that we have right here in our congregation. Yes, many of you will recognize these faces. There's a few reasons why we're doing this. The first reason is well, we haven't seen each other for almost a year now. We miss seeing each other, but as we all know, Austin Heights loves to eat. So this is a way that we can share food with each other. And secondly, this is actually a really good way to be kind of missional. We want to make this to where we're sharing it. Food is always made to be shared and in the Christian life, we're always trying to serve others. So what we're gonna ask you to do is everything that you see, every episode of this, is going to be a doubled recipe. It's gonna be twice as much as you need. We're gonna ask you to commit, go forward watching this, to make double, one for your household and one for someone else. There's so many shut-ins, there's people who are just quarantined or sick or just haven't seen anybody for a long time or somebody that you need to reach out to. That's what we want you to utilize this for. Tonight, who is our very first well. inaugural <laughs> We all know her, yes. we all love her, Miss Susan Rushing. What is it that we're gonna be making and why did you choose it? Uh, guacamole, um, because there are a lot of avocados available now. Mm -hmm. Good guacamole, good avocados are available. And it's something that is fairly easy to make and everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people like it. Yeah, a lot of people Emily love it. it so. Me, for example, yeah. Yes, I love it. I think most people love it. And maybe we'll learn a few secrets to make it just that extra little bit. <laughs> yes. Susan-y. Yeah. Right? Well, the thing about guacamole is it's customizable. So I can show you how I do it. And the thing you would do is take it from there and make it just the way you like cool. it too. So first of all, we want to tell people the ingredients. And remember, we're doubling the recipe because we're sharing with a friend. One, you know, family size serving, it's usually two uh, medium uh, avocados. Mm -hmm. And so this, we have uh, four of them. So we'll be cutting this in a moment. But also you need chopped tomatoes, about a half a cup, chopped onion. People who know me know I love onion. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I like to put in guacamole is a lot of garlic. Five cloves there. We probably won't use all that. Okay. But we could if we wanted to. We could, that's exactly right. <laughs> Best to have as much, away. Yeah, as much on hand. And then um, jalapeno or serrano pepper. The other key thing for guacamole is cilantro. And you may wonder why I have it in a jar. But I've been told that if you keep your herbs and treat them like flowers, mm -hmm. you can keep them in water and keep them in the fridge, they last longer and it's true. So that's why it's like that. Salt, a little bit of cumin, and a pinch of sugar. Also sugar. essential is lime juice. Probably half a lime per avocado. The first thing that I think of when I'm at the store getting an avocado is the secret <laughs> to picking out the perfect one. Do you have any advice for people? You want it just on the edge of being squishable. If you pull the little thing off, if it's green in there, oh. it's green. Really? Yeah. And if it's not, you just put it back. Put it back and you, and, you, and you go on. And you walk away. <laughs> and hand sanitize. <laughs> back away from it slowly. Oh, man. So I guess what we're going to do here first, Emily, start, the <laughs> start at this end. Yeah, just go on. Thank you. A little off-center. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. A good one. And you got the pit on the... Pit All on these that. avocados that's turned out like perfectly colored, man. I mean, that's exactly yeah. what you want. Well done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop out four halves into each bowl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. One. What yes. I want you to do is sprinkle them with salt. Okay. And what you can do is get a big pinch, sprinkle. Fairy dust. Fairy mm -hmm. dust. What I want you to do is squeeze a, a couple of halves over okay. that. It's gonna keep it from getting dark. I like this uh, juicer. Yeah. yeah, I do too. Pretty cool, huh? Yes. I don't think I've ever seen one shaped like that, it's cool. Is that enough? One more. 
No, if she wanted to, could she just... Oh, yeah, yeah. you can yeah, do yeah. that. Yeah, but the juicer is nice. Well, especially some of the limes aren't as juicy as others. More effort. Gets it all out, yeah. Yeah. You know, I think limes smells like Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> Childhood I know. flashback. It's one of those yeah. things. That's what like happens. I love lime. Now I'm going to think <laughs> of Fruit Loops when I eat them, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the secret ingredient that at the end we're going to do a big reveal of yeah. Fruit, yeah. fruit Loops. Are fruit lime. Loops are the secret ingredient. And does the lime actually do, I mean, other than the flavor, does, is the lime somehow doing something to preserve the integrity of the... It'll keep it from discoloring. You're right, yeah. I think I've heard that. So now, smush. Smush away! Smush away. Ooh. Just keep going around with it. And we can get a fork in there if you need to. How did you uh, learn to make guacamole? Was it... <laughs> Something you kind of discovered in adulthood, or was it something you grew up and uh, <laughs> someone showed you the exact way to make guacamole? Well, it's evolved. And, you know, if you've been and had the table side service, always watch how they do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have been um, fortunate to have my son, David, who went to culinary school, and that's always helpful. So know someone who went that's to culinary kid. school, <laughs> right? <laughs> What okay, think? I think he did okay. really well. Okay. All right, move on. <laughs> that might have been overkill. Uh, no, no, it's, okay. it's mushy. That's good. Uh, just to move along to what we're going to be adding to it. Yeah. Um, I'm using cherry tomatoes because mm -hmm. this time of year, they're about the only ones with any flavor. Uh huh. Oh, now, the other ones are like. They're they're hard and, and yeah. not very flavorful now as the summer grows and fresh tomatoes come in. But Michael, if you want to while Emily's finishing up, you can cut that little guy. I do it lengthwise twice. So lengthwise and then yeah. roll it. So you're making quarters of the yeah. little baby tomato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then just, and This is a good knife too yes. for the thing because it's got a little you use serration. A serrated knife for a tomato. The thing that happens with tomatoes all the time is I have the wrong knife and I squish it mm -hmm. and all the water goes mm -hmm. all over the right. place. So this right. is a, So now you just Cut that into about thirds. Great. Voila, and I can put it in there. Yeah. What's so, next? what I want you to do, Michael, you can too, sprinkle some tomatoes in there. I wouldn't dump all of them in there. We're going to sort of take Sprinkle. It. See, this is the jiggle. You got to do the, the jiggle. wrist action, yeah. You have to jiggle them in. <laughs> Let's try some, some onion. Let's see if you can jiggle the onion in as good Let's as I jiggle my tomato. See who's a better tomato. jiggler here. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wait, how much? I'm I doing think, like I half? think that's, let's okay. try that. We can always add more. Okay. Well, especially if you're making it for someone else, yeah. that's where you gotta be yeah. kinda careful because I love onion, but. And then I'm gonna do this. Okay. If I was making it for my mom, I would dump all of this in. Okay. She's an onion example. freak. Now, <laughs> here's the two things we have left besides the seasoning. Garlic mm -hmm. yeah. and cilantro. So here's how I do the garlic. And what you're gonna do with this is great. 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 So just mm -hmm. go for it. Do two of them. Wow. Do. If it's you've satisfying. ever um, gotten really bored mincing onion. Ugh, do you ever get bored while mincing, mincing onion? onion? <laughs> I know I do. There's um, gotta be a better way. <laughs> what you're getting is the juice too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Really? Now what we're gonna okay. do oh, look, is... it's kinda stuck to the back. Take about half of that and put it in each one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to do another one maybe, and because we may Look really garlic it up. It's like pulp. Mm-hmm. And it's juicy. So you're getting a lot yeah. of that. Okay. All right, do one more, so. Okay. If I must. If, while you're doing that, I'm gonna open my jar of cilantro. So You'll be why a don't you spin. help me yeah. pick leaves off this cilantro? Now, do you allow a little stem or? A little, yeah. Let's put just a smidge in each one of those. Smidge. You know, one of the things we kind of are going to be trying to incorporate, how to incorporate garden things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to be doing that in the next few episodes. Yeah. All right, now, just chop, 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 chop. Put your hands on top of this, hold it like that, and just chop away. Do I need to go now, both go ways? Back. Okay. Uh, yeah. So take some of that and put it in there. Just well, use, we're getting, we're getting close all. now. I feel like we're close to the finish line. Now we're going to try our seasoning. Just a little teeny bit. Like that. that. Oh my gosh, come on, it's cumin. Sprinkle. Yeah, sprinkle. Oh, sprinkle. you got to go Don't. nuts with it. 
<laughs> now, the other thing, this is sugar. Just a little bit. See, that to me is the secret ingredient. A little bit. All right, Salt. mix it up. Mix it up, everybody. Mix it up. Mix it up. Uh -uh. <laughs> now, what's the proper technique for mixing? Well, she's got it. Great. Glad to know I'm a natural mix mixer. Man, you really are nailing it. First, I'm gonna scoot it over here, and then you. Then scoot I'm it. gonna scoot it over here. You wanna mix? Yeah, yeah, I'll mix. Get, get in on this. I'll follow your technique of I'm gonna scoot it over there. Uh huh. And then scoot, and then it, scoot over. it over there. And then yep. I scoot this over here. Yep. <laughs> and mix I, it all up. So this is a it's a soft science, uh -huh. right? Yeah. I mean, there, everything we did here could be adjusted. Absolutely, mm -hmm. it depends on how you like your guacamole. Bottoms up. Mm hmm. I'm pretty pleased with this. I am too. Does it want more? Uh, Gosh, it's so bright. Like mine is really bright. Mm -hmm. um, and I like that. And especially if you're eating with a kind of a salty chip like mm -hmm. that. You don't want to I don't think salt. I need, right, right, right. I love salt, but I think I got enough on mine. Do you want more garlic? I could never say no to more garlic. But you also got to think if you're making it for someone else, which is part of what we're doing here, I have to restrain myself. Right, right, right. Yeah. So that's what you do in cooking. You you taste with a clean spoon until mm -hmm. um, you Indeed. get it the way you want it. Well, Susan, this is a home run. Yep. Sure. One more thing I want to talk to you. If you're going to share it, mm -hmm. you know, guacamole goes bad pretty fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the secret to sharing or keeping guacamole is you're going to want to put it in a smaller bowl. Okay. And then when you do, pat it down and get your saran wrap and lay it absolutely on the surface where the, the saran wrap completely touches the mm -hmm. surface of your bowl so air doesn't get to it. And then okay. cover it with a lid, yep. too. And it'll keep for a day or two. Nice. It will. In the fridge. Yeah, cool. I've mm -hmm. seen it do really good. But yeah, I mean, I think the trick here is like, anyone who's making this one, you gotta go ahead and you gotta have somebody ready, like we're about to do. Let's do you have a neighbor that might Actually, be um, Ray and Jenny live right next door. Well, so. in the spirit of Austin Heights giving, should we take them some guacamole? Yes. Let's ask our studio audience. <laughs> well, cool. Let's go see what the Johnsons are doing. All right. Come okay. on. Okay. We gave them no heads up. They're probably in their underwear. Whoa, hello. Surprise. You're the oh big winner. <laughs> so we made something for you. This is Susan's famous guacamole. Oh, oh boy. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're so welcome. We'll enjoy. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. Very much. Well, well, we hope you guys enjoy it. We will. Uh, what well, a great I'm treat prompt. before bed. We <laughs> miss, yeah. yeah. Guacamole before bed. That's yeah. what I always Guacamole say. in bed. Yeah. You know. Yes, thank you guys. Much. We'll see you later. All right. Okay. Bye. Good seeing y'all. <laughs> Susan, what does making guacamole have to do with church? <laughs> I think food is a ministry. I think food is love made edible and the Bible's filled in the Gospels with gathering for a meal. That's how we, we come together and we share not only food, but friendship and faith. And um, I think it's, there's something holy about that. Mm -hmm. I absolutely agree. Holy guacamole. <laughs> holy guacamole. <laughs> Beautifully put. <laughs> well, Susan, this was a great way to start mm -hmm. it. This is a just an exciting thing that I hope we're going to get to do. The other thing I want to say to everybody is, if you have a favorite dish from somebody in the congregation and you post it on our uh, little survey, you could be the lucky person getting to taste that person's food. So we're going to really encourage everyone to make submissions. If someone has a really special dessert, or a really special entree or something that you love, uh, we'll invite you to come be a part of it and enjoy it with us. Yeah, it's great. There are a lot of great cooks in our church. There are. We're there very really lucky. Are.